important to know where you're at. And I like your question, what if I don't know where I'm at? And, I, and I'm gonna repeat what I said, it's important to know where you're at. But knowing where you're at on the continuum is a process. Because then you kind of figure out, what am I using to know where I'm at? What is the decision I'm making to decide where I'm at on this? Am I at cultural destructiveness? Am I at cultural incapacity? Am I, am I that person who's at cultural blindness? Cultural pre-competence, cultural sensitivity. In a perfect world, all of us should be somewhere right here in cultural competence. And I've, as I said to you before, I've always placed myself at cultural competence and not a proficiency. Because there's always room to learn more. See your hand. Always room to learn more. And that is why I'm asking these questions today for you to really think about it. Why, why is it important to know where you are on the continuum? You have to know who you are. You know yourselves. You have to know where you are at. Because your who you are matters. What you do as a teacher, as an educator, your pedagogy, your practice influences that. And what factors help you to determine where you placed yourself on the continuum? Notice I asked nobody to tell me where you're at. It's personal, but you're working at growth. And the final question it would be, what do you need this is the powerful question. What do you need to help you successfully move along the continuum in the right direction? What is it that you need? And you have to know what you need so you can move along. Some of us, we need more education. Some of us, we need more exposure. Some of us, we need to speak up more. We need more advocacy skill. We need to be more aware, more informed. Some of us, we need to just, just to act. Some of us, we have knowledge, but there's no action. Some of us, we need more self-examination. Some of us, we need to unlearn. We need to be unwise ourselves. We need to even challenge ourselves. So there's various 